Hi everyone. Good morning. We are in Chiang Rai. We are in the district of Masai. And I thought this morning we would start the video from a point of extreme serenity up here on Pa Sango. A very fun name. Look at that. Look at that. I love the mountain feeling but it offers even more perspective when you can see the lowlands from the mountains. Being up in the mountains, you're kind of up in mountain land, kind of off lost in that environment. But this is so special when you can see just the history of the, of the food growing, of the towns, the villages. We are near to a very special place where three countries come together, the famous Golden Triangle area. You can actually see it right over there. We've been here for four days. I'm just learning more and more every day. So happy that you are here with us. Yes, I do have some coffee. It would be, it would be almost criminal to not enjoy a cup of cappuccino. It's about noon right now. I'm gonna finish this. Lee and I are just enjoying being in the breeze. It is quite cool up here, even though the sun is blazing hot. I love the rainy season in Thailand. Just. Okay, let's go. Remember, this is what we were playing. Uh, so it must be an Aka toy. That's that's cool. And look, another view. Man, that's awesome. I want to stay here. Oh, and that has to be a hotel. I mean, look at that. So right now, by the way, this whole area is still not open for outside tourism. So we can have coffee here, but we can't stay here yet. And that's true of all the places that we have passed, the places that we have stayed are very specific because of that reason. Man, I would love to come back here. What do you think? This would be amazing, right? In the view screen right now, you see five countries. Two of them represented in people, and three of them, the land. Golden triangle behind. Are you hungry yet? Go. Let's get some lunch. So, 7K till lunch. Yahoo! You're gonna see some local house styles. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> so, right up here. Again, because I rode this way this morning, this is why I want to show the, this how beautiful this area is. Okay, so behind us we have the Hall of Opium. It is a very famous thing for this whole area because that is why this area is so infamous. The Golden Triangle was a source of a lot of trade of illegal substances, but part of the beauty of the modern day is people learn from their mistakes and they can better their lives. And now Lee and I eat a lot of organic vegetables. We eat a lot of very high quality fruit that is grown because the Thai government supported the farmers. They did not throw them all in jail. They supported the farmers and gave them free seeds to plant on all that land and that's where a lot of the coffee that I love to drink comes from. Lee, she loves a lot of the fruit, the exotic fruit like plums, the sweet fruits maybe from other countries. It's just the whole Royal Thai kitchen. That label, if you see that on vegetables, peppers, I, I can think of so many things that we have to be thankful for for this, right? But if you do want to learn about the history, you have this museum, the Hall of Opium. We cannot take video 
we cannot take photos inside. So I am just standing out here having a chat with you and trying to share some positivity from the parking lot. We have the cicadas partying in the background. We have a beautiful lake full of lotus. Thankfully, because of the video, I can edit it like that. was amazing. I think of Thailand as basically a land of food, a land of easily accessible food. <laughs> there is almost nothing compared to what I know Thailand to be. There are still three restaurants right here. I love this location and we are directly next to the actual triangle of the Golden Triangle. So this is perfect. But I just, I just feel like a little bit weird because Thailand yeah, like I said, it's like the land of food and there's just no, there are no restaurants. Wow, okay. Wow, มาสองปีที่แล้วอันนี้เต็มไปหมดเต็มไปหมดทุกครั้งโอเคเราจะนั่งนั่งทานกับคุณพี่นะครับเนี่ยมากมีปลาอะไรมั้งครับมีมีป
She has been here all day herself with no customers, not even one customer. So we allowed her to wake up the grill, wake up the propane burner, and she had to turn everything on for us. And we're lucky, we're lucky to be here and happy to help her out as well. Okay, first bite. Wow, am I ready for this? Mm. I think I just bit more peppercorns than fish. Wow, they are fresh. Mm. The fish is nice and firm. The skin is very fatty and she deep fried it first. So there's that for you. Those green peppercorns though are intense. Wow, that, that whole strand of green pe peppercorns is hotter than the chilies. Some vegetables to cool down. Oh, she packed chilies into every dish. Got some kale, cauliflower, and another chili. Mm. 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 The kale. Kale tastes very fresh. And that dish is hot, temperature hot. So to go with the spice of this one. Wow, and you can just see the level of spice in that dip. Wow. This is this is gonna leave me smoking and on fire. Chili cheers with some tomato and rice. Remember we had the, the young shoots of the snap peas up on top of the mountain. So now here we are having the fruit, we are having the peas. So the, the babu is a giant Mekong catfish. It has some bones, but they're very big bones because the fish is a huge fish, so they're very easy to pick out. It's just so delicious, just on the rice. And again, hunger is also a great part of any recipe. I was very hungry. The fish and the chilies. What a combo. Mm, let me find some gachai for you. It's, it's very lemony. Like ginger is very warm. You might think it's like a sour ginger or like a small ginger. Yeah, I love it. Again, if you are at your local Thai restaurant, try it out. Pad cha, pad cha. You can get it with whatever you want, any meat, or eggs, uh, pad cha with tofu is also great, but my favorite is with fish, specifically catfish, like this one. The three countries coming together right here. The shape is quite unique, so it's kind of cool. Behind me, you can see a very easy display, almost like a Play-Doh. No, it looks cool. You can see, what is very cool is you can see the three flags, right? And then look through this circle. That's the point that is Myanmar. That's Laos, that's Thailand. But through this small archway here, that's the part that is Myanmar. It's so cool. water level is really high, which is also nice to see. Yeah, it has been raining for, for weeks, which is a blessing. Hmm. It's just so romantic. I love, I love visualizing where on the map we are. We are really, really far north. And right now, how many times can you look and see three countries in one view, you know? 
That's so cool. I'm gonna give you some clips, some drone shots, how about that? And I'll summarize just a few of my favorite facts that I can remember, but uh, you know, from the lady who cooked the food for us, from the Opium Museum, from the few, just a little bit of time that we've spent here, all the areas of our whole world must be the same. Areas that rely on tourism are just wiped out, and it, uh, again, I don't, I don't want to focus on the sad things. Of course, in my heart, I feel sad for them, but I want to encourage and do the best that I can, like with our chef lady friend today for lunch. She was smiling so big, even though, I mean, she, we were the first visitors that she had had today, but just being able to give her that smile. I'm so happy to take this trip just for that, just for, you know, one of those every day. It makes me feel like, like I am still able to do something and that's totally in my power to go out and do. So, Lee, thank you for being on this car trip with me and I'm sorry that the, uh, the highlights are not as high as maybe the, the photos in, on a calendar would, would have you see, but uh, people are still here and people are still living their daily lives and we are blessed to be able to just come up alongside them and just learn from them, be inspired by them, and take those memories home with us. So thank you for joining us on this video. Again, this is Chiang San. We are staying in Maasai, so the video today you see uh, clips from these two places, and the province is Chiang Rai, which is next to the province where we live. Right. And it is not finished. We still have three more days in this area of Thailand. Blessings and love. Peace. See you next time. Later.